<laughs> oh, people of God, glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. Welcome. Just welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Praise the living God. So this is not the typical video, people of God. I'm just coming on to release just, I would say, a prophetic warning. I guess maybe an alert, you know, something like that. Um, I'm just coming on here to talk to the brother or sister that has been dealing with identity issues. Okay. Um, I didn't think that this was a message that I needed to release, but the Lord said to release it because there's a brother or sister that has been in doubt, or maybe you've been thinking about whether you should do this or not. Okay. And um, so guys, just to, sh to share a testimony, I had to take action today and put a freeze alert on my credit profile, my credit reports, right? So over the last year and a half, I have credit monitoring, okay? And I would say probably in the last three to six months, some of the creditors that I have, my cell phone company and a couple other companies, there has been some breaches right um and i would say that maybe this has something to do with the breaches you know with the companies that i've had credit with but i don't know my spirit my spirit has been saying otherwise and i don't want to get into what i think is happening here but there's just been a lot of those hmm moments a lot of those this doesn't make sense and just kind of putting two and two together some of the stuff that's being used to come and steal from me, right? Is information that only certain people would know. Okay. Now I know that people can get access to your information anywhere. People can go on Google and they can use these third party sites. We got some people out here that are professional hackers and, and, and your information can be stolen from different places. I get that. Especially if you're somebody that uses the internet to pay bills or you know even if you have banking information if you have your information stored anywhere whether you go to the doctors you know you go to your bank okay wherever you have credit your information is always at risk of being exposed i get that but what's been happening the last year and a half maybe two years through my credit monitoring service that i have i have been getting alerts that my information is being sold on the black market, okay? And most of you know what the black market is. It's a, it's a place where they sell stolen information from people. They sell information from consumers, their date of birth, social security numbers, that sort of thing, so that somebody can use it to steal from one of these consumers, if that makes sense, right? Well, for the last year and a half, it started out really small where my credit monitoring service would send me an alert and it would say that your information has been found on the black market. When I would open the alert, I would see my name, but it would be spelt wrong. Or I would see my email address, but it would be wrong. You know, the information wasn't quite right, but this credit monitoring service that I have, it will match up anything that's even close to my information, right? So I just let it go. But then I noticed in the last six months, okay, the alerts kept getting closer and closer. Like every couple of weeks, my information was on the black market. And so I just kept looking at it. And when I would see the information, I noticed that the information would get more accurate. So they would spell my name correctly this time. They would use the correct email address. But I still didn't really think anything of that, right? So let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Just recently, today, okay, I got four alerts back to back. There was an account created on August the 20th, and then there were three accounts created on August the 28th, right? When I opened up the alert, I almost fell out of my chair because the information that was provided was accurate this time. They had my first, my last name, the last four digits of my social security number. They had my email address correct. And let me tell you what else was added. My addresses that I used to live at, going all the way back to where I lived when I was in my younger years, okay, another state, right? And the addresses that were provided were accurate, accurate. 
<laughs> okay? And so when I saw that, I said, wow. And when I began to look at the addresses, I remember these addresses that I used to stay at. There was a couple common denominators that really put up a red flag. And I'm not going to get into what that is, but these addresses, there's a common denominator with them, okay, um, which really made me super duper suspicious because in my younger years, I did live several places until I found a home, right? But the, the, the addresses that they use was very suspicious. That's I'm just going to say that. So with that being stated, I felt the sense of urgency to place a credit freeze on my credit report. So what am I saying? I'm saying, child of God, brother or sister, if you have been, if you have credit monitoring services and you've been receiving alerts specifically, I just feel like I need to say this. You've been receiving alerts specifically that your information is being uh, used on the black market or it's being um, sold to the black market. Please get a freeze on your credit report immediately. Get one, get one, get one, get one. I just feel the sense of urgency. I know that we are in a time where we have scammers and spammers and people are stealing from people. Identity theft is at an all time high. I understand that. I'm giving you specific instructions to your situation. There's somebody on here you have been contemplating on whether you should get a, a fraud alert or a credit freeze. The Lord is saying, get the credit freeze. Get the credit freeze because something is going to happen when you do this. Something is going to happen when you do this. This is a season of exposure. Okay. This is a season of exposure. And this is the time and season that I believe that the Lord is saying, if you've had any concerns about identity theft, now is the time to investigate that situation that looks suspicious. Now is the time to call and see what that was. Now is the time to contact somebody and find out why this is here or why that is there. God says that you need to open up your mouth. You need to step forward with seeking what this thing is or taking proactive measures to protect yourself, to protect your credit, to protect your identity. If you are a brother or a sister, now is the time to place the credit freeze. Now is the time to place the fraud alert. Now is the time to contact that third party, that organization, that company to find out why this and why that is on your credit. Why this and why that is happening. Why is there a charge here? Okay. Why did I pay for that? Why did I get denied for this? Something that wasn't right. And you were suspicious about it. And another thing about this thing too, this happened more than one time. It was multiple times. And each time you kept saying, well, wait a minute, something ain't right about this. I need to probably check into this, but you never really pushed the issue because you didn't really see an immediate danger. But I'm on here to warn you, brother or sister, now is the time to seek now is the time to knock. Now is the time to research. Now is the time to check into. Now is the time to take proactive measures to figure out what this confusion is that's going on in your personal life. What is this? Where is this coming from? I hear God saying, look into it. And whatever measures that are in place for you to protect yourself, protect yourself. Because what's gonna happen is when you do this, the thief is going to be caught. The thief is going to be caught. The thief is going to be exposed. Okay. I feel this so strongly in my spirit. And when that time comes, or if that time ever comes, God will lead and guide you in what you need to do in that situation. You hear me? <laughs> I love you guys. Be blessed. Bye.